We got to stop living in the future. All right, guys, we're starting the second part of the reading. The channel messages are on YouTube. The tarot card reading will be on this side. What's going on, members only? Gang, gang, gang. Let's get into these messages here. Somebody leave in the comments what Psalms 27 talks about, okay? Because I'm channeling Psalms 27. I'm also channeling John 45, 13. I can look it up, but I, you know, I just read the channel. I told y'all when I channel, instead of me channeling like I normally do before I get on here, now I'm channeling on screen and then the tarot card message will be members only, okay? Just period. Look at this. The first energy is the two of pentacles here. Yeah. Because, see, I'm getting the energy. If you focus on, on just you and what you got going on, it's a lot that you that you need to be juggling. It's a lot of gifts that you have. You're focusing on one thing. You're focusing on something you see at your highest sight of somebody else. And God is saying, man, you're more powerful than them. You're the chosen. You're the 300 going up against the ground shaking army, you the David going against Goliath. Like, what part of this shit you don't get? Like, the 300 show up knowing that these people are like outweighing them. You don't just show up like that if you, if you don't just show up like that by yourself. Who am I talking to? That 300 knew they had the whole, they whole ancestors behind them. And know the ground didn't shake because they feet never hit the ground. The angelic realm, the presence of the 300, the things, the rituals, the things that they had to go through to even save you was the elite. Who am I talking to? The 300 that showed up, the test that they had to pass, they wouldn't be there if they passed them. We keep trying to pass these bullshit ass tests. You know, in one year, I want to have 250K uh, subscribers and I want to be da, da 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 Are you fucking kidding me? God said not 250K souls led to him or led to divinity. I'm hearing y'all chosen one acting like slaves. Yo, 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 the angels from your angelic realm, they intimidating you now. They around you all the time now. Yeah, you could be in some real aggressive energy right now because they telling you, you, you better power the fuck up. You better stop looking over there. And you looking at angelic realm three and you like somewhere up in the eight, nine um, realm. You like somewhere so ascended to like you at the top tier and you down here like in the dungeon, eating with rats, sleeping with rats, like what the fuck? That's why they. That's why nobody. It. It. it the slaves waiting to be led. They waiting for an order. They waiting on instruction. And when I say slaves, I ain't talking about. I'm talking about if you're not a chosen one. I'm just using those terms because I know you can relate to it quicker. Confirmation. So the two of pentacles is like you juggling shit that you shouldn't even be contending with. This ain't even your business. The two of pentacles is what I'm getting. This ain't even your business. What else here? Like you should, you should focus. You should. We the chosen ones should focus more on staying in your power, staying within your realm's energy, being able to to like communicate that from that realm, like having some type of connection there, like literally. If you was if you was working more on that, you wouldn't have time to see what nobody else was doing. Because you'd be getting instructions. People are waiting on the, the instruction. Yeah, look, the king of cups in reverse. I'm telling you, your, your ancestors, they intimidating. They're very cold. They're very, they don't understand, like, they don't understand how you keep allowing people to just do you any kind of fucking way. They don't understand why you keep looking for validation from man, any man. Whether it be this king of cups who, who, you know, lied to you about commitment. You can read this as a, you can read this as a third party situation right here easily. 
But what I'm hearing from spirit is you keep playing yourself. The third party situation, what you living in the 3D is only like symbolic to what's really going on with your ass in the spirit realm. Who am I talking to? The chosen one. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. This really your energy. But how many of y'all know, you know, we having a spiritual experience in a physical body. Why you, why you think they ain't saying y'all having a physical experience in a spiritual body? We keep putting the cart before the horse. Oh, that's good right there. Who am I talking to? So we can read this like a third party situation. Okay, the two of pentacles, the king of cups in reverse with the nine of pentacles. You left this person because you feel like they're very cold. They're treating you bad. Da -da 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 -da. No, this is, this, this is when you acting this out in your, in your 3D, in the spirit realm, what this is saying is you continue to let somebody pimp you. You continue to be distracted by, by somebody else's fuck ups. By somebody else, what somebody else choked. You don't even know, you don't even know what you're attaching yourself with when you try to attach yourself with people. And our mechanism can't be always breaking free from it and then coming up off of it. This energy right here, this nine of pentacles energy. Is who is is the people standing up in your angelic realm? This is intimidating. See what you don't understand is your your energy is so intimidating, chosen one day. If you stop trying to be everybody else and focus more on your nine of pentacles energy, you'll realize that people are gonna be drawn to you. They ain't got no choice. They already drawn to you. This gonna hit different though. It's not gonna be no cold. The cold. The, the king of cups in reverse to me is divine protection. The two of pentacles is just like you keep getting distracted. You keep forgetting like you one of the 300. Like you you keep you showing up as somebody powerful, but you forgetting about the angelic realm you come from that they, they, they're behind you. A hundred percent. You can't see them because they're spiritual, but they're there. You got to be aware that they're there. You got to be aware of that being you. That they behind. Who am I talking to? Somebody got displaced gift set. That's a that's a spiritual tech uh, a spiritual terminology. What that means is the gifts you got up under the up under the tree, you ain't like them, so you traded them with somebody else. Your sibling, your brother, somebody else. You gave them that toy to play with and they don't even know how to how to work it. They're going to keep coming back to you, asking you how, how to do it. After a while, they're going to stop coming to you because they're going to master how to do what you told them or show them how to do. They just ain't going to be as good at it as you is. Who am I talking to? See what I'm saying? That's why we shouldn't worry about who watching our videos. Yeah, they might. You might have to, you know, they might have to come keep watching your ass. You getting another view. They probably going to donate to your channel. You get more money. They probably going to take that message and, and make it their own. Okay, but guess what? They didn't get that message to after you gave it. The fact that the matter is, chosen one, it don't matter. What you doing going to draw what you need according to your journey anyway. We too focused on somebody stealing our energy and we ain't even got the energy we supposed to have. We around here looking weak as fuck because we worrying about somebody's numbers. So whenever God is saying, whenever you ready to step into this nine of pentacles energy in its entirety, because see what, what we think about with this is you're single and you're abundant. That's it. You left something and because and, and, you knew something was better. Pre-empress energy. God say this is about money and numbers. The other pre-empress energy shit, y'all can stop saying that y'all ain't in no pre-empress energy. Because to me, what I'm getting is like that pre-empress energy is like, is like David. Think about all the stories in the Bible. David, he out there, he don't even sleep in his father's house. He don't even eat food at the table with his brothers and his fathers. Because why? He out with the sheep. The shepherd can't leave the sheep. They don't get a break where somebody come in and say, I'm going to let you go to the house for a week and, and you can eat in the house and sleep, you know, in the bed while I come out here. They ain't even fit to do it. You've been out there for months. They go out there for two days and they break down and fall out. 
See, that's what I'm trying to say. You more powerful than what you think you want. You think you want to go back in the house and live the good life. That's the world. God is saying you got to endure it. Because see, at some point, they came looking for David, the chosen one. Why? Because he was, he was the chosen one. He did what chosen ones do. Who am I talking to? He was in that nine of pentacles energy. He was waiting to be crowned. He was waiting on, oh, glory to God. He was waiting on the prophet to come. To anoint his head with oil to, to validate. See, that's what that's where the validation come in at. When they bring that oil. What does that mean? You, you, you're fully operating in your gifts. You don't give a fuck about nobody else's gift. You're healing people. You're saving souls. You're not worrying about, you don't get up every day and do it because you want somebody to click on you and, you know, make you some money. You do it every day because it's the message God gives you. That's why y'all don't see me on here a hundred times. When the messages come, I give them. What else here? So somebody need to get in their own gifts. Yo, look, the Eight of Swords. I can't make this shit up. You trapped because you're trying to be somebody else. Your gift even greater. You one of the 300. The chosen ones, y'all, y'all, we more fucked up than anybody because they know the other ones don't even matter. Whether they try to copycat you or not, they don't have that power. They don't have nothing to lose, either you do. And I'm hearing they lost sheep. They just waiting on the order to be led and we we arguing with each other and, 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 and trying to discredit each other's gifts. But not you, Scorpio. Your angelic realm done came down on your ass, on your head like, listen... You about to fuck around and find out what that nine of pentacles energy really is in your life. You, 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 they're showing you them. Your angelic realm came down. Yeah, I just saw the, the temperance. Your angelic realm came down to show you who they are. They know their presence is going to be intimidating to you. It don't matter. For some of y'all, this may be in a dream. I keep hearing God used all of it to prepare you to return back to yourself that's why I say from the dirt you came into the dirt you will return. Look, the death card. I can't. Come on, y'all. Come on, spirit. Why you think they say that? We so we so worried about shit. We so when you're born, you start worried about dying and staying young and all this shit. We 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 lose the journey. All that in between that God really sent us us here to do, we we miss out on it. And then we dead. We done lived a whole unpurposed life worrying about what somebody else got. What somebody else doing. Not wondering, what do I fit in the world? What do you want me to do, God? What do you want me to do with these gifts? We've been, we've been distracted. The old you, but the new you to them. I'm hearing that. Hmm. I keep hearing too, you, you, you've always had the power to gain wealth. I'm also hearing like the choices you made are why you, like a, a lot of y'all are thinking like your business ain't, ain't going like it should because, because people are saying like, you know, you, you couldn't do this or this one, what you supposed to be doing. Somebody gave up on something too quick. See, you, you got to always calculate what you done before you got saved, spiritual. See, some people, they get so fucking spiritual till they forget about the shit that they did. And I feel like Christianity is another thing that made people think that when they say, God, forgive me for fucking somebody else and I'm married. To me, I feel like they think they just wiped the karma, the slate clean, like karma ain't coming. I feel like a lot of people in their consciousness, that's what they think. They can do whatever they want to and God going to forgive them. Yeah, but this shit is still coming. So a lot of y'all, it's not that, it, that that your business, that you what you're doing is not prospering because you ain't gifted and this ain't what you're supposed to be doing. It's it's just at a point where you, you're actually being tested again. Or you're really serving, you're going through some type of karma. You just got to endure and work through. But this is this is this is what God is saying. We endure and go through these relationships with these dead ass people that ain't supposed to be in our life. 
But we won't endure this. We won't endure our karmic debt. Who am I talking to? Somebody need to shift their energy. You need to return back within. This ain't even about a dark night of the soul. Yo, look, the Six of Pentacles. As soon as I said it. And the King of Pentacles. Like you already a kingpin. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like God is saying it don't take you sitting on the throne next to me. In this 3D. For you to know that you're royalty. To, for you to know you're expected to act a certain type of way. See, we don't we don't even know what God, how God expects us to operate because we ain't focus on that. We focus on we focus on what somebody gonna give us. And God is saying, uh-uh. This is what I need you to focus on. This right here. I need you to kill that shit. You being trapped. You feeling like you wanna give up? I'm telling you, these people that's putting putting they putting you know bullets in their head, it's cause they couldn't get somewhere and quiet their mind. It was I, I'm telling you, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. Literally, I'm seeing in the spirit over 35 percent of people that took their life was chosen people, cause they got distracted. People get distracted in, in different ways. It's a lot of people sitting in prison right now because they killed the chosen one. Jealousy. So I'm here like, if you're in this eight of swords energy, you're not protected, beloved. You're not chosen one. You're not protected. Why? Because you, what you're trying to do is hold everything in. You're trying to take all this. God giving you all these downloads and knowledge and you going fucking crazy because you scared somebody going to steal it. God want everybody to hear it. He gave you that message for every fucking body. Whether you, whether your everybody is 10K, 1 million, 27. That person, that one soul, God rejoicing. The, they said the angels in heaven rejoice over one soul. Now you want to be, you, you. You want to hold, you just want to see that shit in your bank account. You just want to see them numbers go up. You don't give a fuck if anybody's life being changed. And then you in the energy, they trying to sound like me. They trying to be like me. Maybe y'all from the same angelic realm. You ever thought about that? No, of course not. Because if you was, if you was meditating and trying to gain clarity about what was really important, you'd know that. You know that this your angelic sister, she from the same realm. That's why you, that's why y'all combative. Y'all could even be ranked the same. Y'all could be from the same. I'm talking about from direct ancestor lineage. And your ancestors are, are coming are coming straight down and being intimidated. Like telling you what what's like what you really looking at. She further she further in her journey though. You don't know what I'm telling you. You don't know what relationship these these chosen ones got with God. You need to keep your mouth off them too. Yeah, they talk bad about chosen ones. They say shit that that really what they worried about court 3D court. But that ain't the court you need to worry about. You need to worry about the court God finna have you in by speaking death and shit on the chosen one. Whether it's true or not. Cause whatever you saying to try to tear them down or intimidate them or distract, it's all about distraction. It's all about I know all y'all looking at this chosen one, but look at me, look at me. This is what I'm saying about the one y'all looking at. And they go over there a minute and they realize how toxic that bitch is and they come back to where they was in the first place for that energy. God gave you that energy to attract people, but the right people. And for you to use it the right way, not manipulate it. Not be worrying about... Y'all keep saying sin and love and light and then y'all sit on there and then... Is this place, y'all? Y'all, we all over the place. I say we. I'm in up with y'all. What else here? Somebody need to focus on the gift that were given to them. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. That's how you gonna prosper. Didn't I tell you? In what God gave you is where your harmony at. It's where your peace at. If you ain't in harmony and you ain't in peace, then that's cause you trying to be somebody else and you living somebody else's life. But if you living in living like God purpose you to look, 
Your person now, your money there, your stability there, your give and take there. That's in all things, not just this relationship. You're realizing when you live a give and take purpose life, that's what happened. You don't have to keep praying for that. God is saying we we took prayer and we take uh uh like repentance as like a fucking genie in a bottle. God is saying live your life like you wanted to like you wanted to live like you wanted to live out like enjoy where you at. Be thankful for where God got you at. Don't worry about nobody else gives they give specific to them too. Where you gonna where you gonna find the most wealth, health, and fulfillment is doing what God told you to do. Somebody really need to start meditating. I feel like it's going to change their life. Because I feel like it's a chosen one that been so caught up in other shit in their life to the point where like it's downloads. Like it's, it's almost giving like a grandma who got like five Christmases worth of presents they want to give you. Because you just stop coming to grandma house on Christmas celebrating it or whatever this is. Like they still buy you gifts every year. <laughs> so it's like God is saying like even though we be immature and distracted and doing all, the gifts still stacking up. Like when where you at in your life right now, you supposed to have these gifts. But you ain't even, you ain't even like them still in the closet. Because you still over here focused on somebody else's gift. Somebody, all your gifts finna just like pile in the queen of pentacles with the high priestess. Somebody gonna get some good ass rest. I'm talking about somebody gonna get. I'm talking about this the kind of rest where you take a bath, you get home from work, you take a bath confirmation, you take a bath and say I'm gonna lay across the bed for a couple of hours. I'm just tired, and you wake up. It's the next morning. You finna get that kind of rest, so you can. Uh, they showing me too Noah's father when they go in that cave and he talks to the little boy and then he puts something over his over his mouth. To, to put him to sleep by him and Noah astral project somewhere else that could be significant. Somebody astral traveling to get these to get these um gifts <laughs> spiritually, guys. Take it if it resonates. If it don't, leave it where it's at. Cause I'm talking to somebody who from an angelic realm that's higher than most angelic realms, and I'm hearing like they touch down. They literally in your 3D energy, and they ain't going nowhere until this shit is like place where it's supposed to be placed and i'm hearing too that's why your energy is eerie right now you irritating a lot of motherfuckers you probably saying stuff like you you're very your energy is aggressive like you ain't even got to say shit it's intimidating it is it's just like and you feel it what you're feeling is 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 your angelic realm your the presence of which you come from the old you but the new you to them I keep hearing that. Clarify this two of pentacles. What's this two of pentacles? <clears throat> yeah, the four wands. I'm telling you, you're going to get some, some deep ass fucking rest. Somebody coming home and like, all that, all that, all this juggling you've been doing with your mind, you just fucking mentally, these two of pentacles is giving me like you mentally fucking tired. You're tired of wrestling with something. That's why I said too, somebody would benefit so much from meditating. I'm getting that. And this somebody just like me who think meditate, who thought meditation was bullshit, not being able to focus, not being like a waste of time. Yeah, it's going to change your life. It's changing my life. This four of wands clarifying that two of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like two Somebody, see, it's it, it's giving the energy like, it's giving the energy like, if you could just, if you could just make your life so pretentious, you understand, make your life so simple, bro. And know what, you know how to make your life simple, stop keep, keep trying to keep up with the Joneses. God is saying, now stop focusing on everything else, focus on your house. God putting somebody down so they, they can focus on what's real. Clarify this King of Cups in reverse. I just saw the Seven of Swords. Clarify this King of Cups in reverse. Somebody, Somebody's emotions need to be fucking checked, like right now. Yeah, the devil in reverse on that King of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, your energy is eerie right now. To mask people, people lying to you, people manipulating you, the devil in reverse. Why? They intimidated. They, they, the devil knows all these entities and shit. 
they, they're moving away from you and your energy is being being like reciprocated with this angelic realm. These angels are sending you their energy, their downloads. They putting you down so you can get this intimidation yourself. So you know they ain't shit to fuck with either. Like you need to come on with the come on. Clarify this now in the pentacles. They letting you know whatever fear you have, whatever broken relationship you in, that shit is peanuts. Get out of it. Whatever malicious gossip you in, drugs you taking, whatever's keeping you from returning back to self, they saying that shit in now. Yeah, they intimidating. Everything around you that's that's contrary to what God already did, you specifically, it's being terminated. Clarify this now in the pentacles. Just period. Look at this shit. I'm telling you, you out there picking pinnacles and getting messages. You see the bird right there? The bird giving the the bird is giving you power to gain wealth. Like just period. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that. Mm-hmm. Like you, like you getting money in your sleep. You get messages in your sleep too. Like all type of money making ideas. You're being renewed. I'm telling y'all, when you go back to your original self, that's where it's at. That's where the gifts at. That's where the prosperity at that you won't even, you won't even view money no more like prosperity and wealth. You won't even view that like that. If you go back to, to like, if we stay in the moment, man, we, we ain't even conscious of what type of love God really truly trying to give us. We, 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 we content with what the Bible told us how he feel. That's, we content with just that. No, it's bigger than that. Clarify this nine of pentacles. The hey man. Mm-hmm. The more you begin to align with your true authentic self, the more God began to change everything in your world, including your perspective. Because really change your mind, change your life, right? On this eight of swords, you're pulling the ten of wands. You're pulling the ten of wands. You pull it. You, in other words, you burden Scorpio because you want to be. You burn with somebody else shit. That's that's the other thing too. When you try to connect with somebody energy, I'm gonna let y'all know this too. When you trying to steal something, I'm, I'm saying it is some people like that think that they mimicking you or whatever, but God using it, everything for your greater good, right? We got to stop saying that shit and we got to believe it for ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? We say that shit loosely, but we don't really believe it. Okay, so if you knew, if you believed wholeheartedly in the Bible, not just take what serve you, then you, you live your life a little different. You know that, you know... What you need to focus on is what you need to focus on. If you were more in tune with yourself, you'd know. I wouldn't have to tell you you need to be meditating. That you need to be grounded for what you do. From the angelic realm you come from, you need to hear from that realm. You're reading spirit, but what spirit are you reading? You just, you just on this spiritual surface level with ancestry. You, you're bigger than that. Your power will keep getting less and less every time you're an earth angel and you fighting and warring with another earth angel, a star seed. Anytime you're being distracted, your gifts are being in the, uh, put in the closet, waiting for another year. To Christmas come again. You, you understand how this is going? Clarify the, clarify the death card. The four swords came out in the reverse. Yeah, somebody waking up to it. The hermit. Mm-hmm. Somebody's realizing now what chosen one means. See, when you realize what chosen means, you'll realize that sometimes you need to be by yourself. And a lot of times, confirmation. And a lot of times, chosen ones, you know, you, you weren't even meant to be in a in a in a domesticated relationship, depending on what your what your um you know job is here on earth. That's another thing, like we just don't know. What's the advice? Y'all with me still? Hit that like button, subscribe. Y'all look, the four pinnacles in reverse, the five of wands in reverse. You fighting stuff, you 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 don't have to fight. The ace of wands. Like it, it's almost like the things you're fighting for, God already gave them to you. You just don't recognize them in your life because you worried about other people's shit. The two of cups. I can't make this shit up. Alright, MOC, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.